Oh, God, we thank you so much for your goodness. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, that we get to celebrate new life today. We thank you, God, that we get to celebrate resurrection. Lord, I pray that everything about today would be you, that we would bring glory to you. We thank you, Jesus, for people that are here to celebrate with others this moment. Lord, we thank you for spontaneity this morning and sudden surprises of people that are doing this. God, we thank you so much for your goodness. We thank you so much for your faithfulness. You are a good God. We thank you, Jesus. Amen? I'm going to share a couple of things, and uh, we're going to get right to uh, dunking some people. Um, <clears throat> whew, man, my heart is beating fast. All right. And just so everybody knows, like when you saw me jumping up here, it was on the good foot. So <laughs> just, just so you know. All right. Um, so just a couple of announcements I want to get out of the way really quick. Um, for those of you guys who are watching online, there are links in the video description for all the important places to be. There's a link to our website. There's a link to our online giving portal. Um, you can follow those to be able to support the ministry here and what God is doing here. There's a basket in the back of the sanctuary. Uh, for those of you guys who are here this morning, you can give that way um, very easily. Um, just thank you so much, you guys, for supporting and participating and being involved and being a part of the ministry here. Um, 6.30, 7.30 on Tuesday is our Bible study. If you need more information about that, let me know. If you guys can't be here in person, you can join us online. I can give you some links and all that stuff so that you guys can... Uh, get to those places um, to be able to hang with us. Um, also, Mother's Day is next week. All right. Yes. Mother's Day is next week. I, I keep asking her what she wants to do. And she says, I don't want to be responsible for making a decision on what I'm going to do on Mother's Day. Yes. Surprises. When it comes to my wife, can be a scary thing. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. I don't know. Pray for me because i got to figure something out. It's kind of, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> yes. All right, so anyway, um, next week we're starting a sermon series titled Hidden Figures. And my wife is going to be preaching that message. And I am so excited. She is, mm, it's going to be good. It's going to be really, 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 really good. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend about 10 minutes. I'm going to talk to you guys about some truths, some important things that this morning means. And then the worship team is going to come back up here. They're going to sing a couple of songs while the rest of us are making sure that we are in attire um, that can make you able to swim. Okay? Um, yes. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's not, it's not that deep. And, um, what? Judah's about my height, sweetheart. Anyway. Anyway. No, we don't need any floaties. We want people to go under. Um, <laughs> so in true to form nature, as you guys probably know, there are things that happen with, um, you know, sound technology and equipment when there is an important thing coming up. So we did spring a leak yesterday, but actually Friday, but it's okay. It's under control. Um, I got concerned because that is a big tub back there. I don't know how many gallons it holds. It's back here. You'll, you'll see it in a minute, but it's, it's big. And um, I was concerned because, you know, a crack in a fiberglass tub that big. Gush. All right. Anyway. <laughs> so this morning, though, I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to share with you guys a couple of things, and I want you guys to understand what we're celebrating today. So this morning's title is simply, Today is the Day. Today is the day. Today is the day of a big moment. Today is the day that people celebrate new life. Today is the day that we experience something of wonder, that we get to watch as people show everyone in the room, show everyone who's watching online what it means to come alive, what it means to experience what Jesus has for them. I think a lot of us spend a lot of time trying to figure out what 
we need to do. We, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out where life is going. We, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out what life means. So this morning I was working on a couple of things and I thought, oh, shoot, I, I need to look something up real quick. And I grabbed my phone and I hadn't opened this browser in a while. I got an iPhone and, um, you, know, uh, I, you know, I have several different browsers, but I hadn't opened Safari in a while. All right. So like, you know, Safari is kind of like the default browser or whatever. I opened up Safari and I'm like, man, this is lagging really bad. And so I opened the view where you could see the tabs. OK, there were 48 tabs open. 48 tabs, or like that's 48 individual searches. Now, anybody who knows me knows that at any point in time on my laptop or whenever search engine I'm in, I could have at least 12 tabs at any given time and like four different windows, four different windows open on my laptop. It is exhausting and exciting all at the same time. Now, I looked at the tabs because I'm curious. I'm like, what is 48 tabs open for? Okay, so. I uh, looked up crochet patterns, I don't know, um, recipes, song chords, directions. I search for those a lot. Um, the number of planets we have in our solar system. I don't know, restaurants, good Mother's Day gifts, <laughs> um, ideas on new movies, when the sun rises in Israel. And then the last one that I saw, uh, this is a true story, okay? The last one I saw, which is the funniest thing ever, is I was looking up like blogs and, and, and books for self-help with being too distracted. Like, <laughs> okay. And then I'm like thanking God. I'm like, God, thank you for the illustration this morning. This is going to be hilarious. You know, but like seriously, we are searching all the time, trying to find an answer, trying to find a conclusion, trying to find something that we so desperately need, like there's this, there's this void, there's this place in our hearts that we, um, we need hope, we need promise, we need something new, something fresh, a, a new life. In Colossians 3, 1 through 3, in the Passion Translation, it says this, Christ's resurrection is your resurrection too. This is why we are to yearn for all that is above. For that's where Christ sits enthroned in the place of power, honor, and authority. yes. Feast on all the treasures of the heavenly realm and fill your thoughts with heavenly realities and not with the distractions of the natural realm. Your crucifixion with Christ has severed the tie to this life and now your life is hidden away in God, in Christ. Essentially, you are no longer cursed. You are no longer held to. You are no longer broken by this world and what this world wants to do with you. You're no longer controlled by the fear and anxiety that comes. As we talked about in our first week, we spend our whole life running from something, running from death. We're scared. Death is terrifying. But when we talk about water baptism, we talk about coming face to face with death and saying we're fearless because right now we are being buried, symbolically buried and resurrected to new life. Amen. You see, water baptism is an outward act of inner hope. It's like outwardly saying, I've got this inner hope. I've got some good things. I've got some exciting things. Being raised to life in Christ not only sets us free, and I talked about this a few weeks ago, not only sets us free from what we did, but it sets us free from who we could have become. Our life in Christ is past, present, and eternal. All the disasters, all the messes, all the problems. Some of you guys got a history, and it's not good. And you're thinking in your mind, like, this, this illustrative event that's happening in baptism is a sign of something that happened within. And you're, like, thanking God because some of us, we're worse than fixer-uppers. Like, some of us like, oh, you know, um, they're, they're a work in progress. And I understand that there are some moments in our life where we need to work on, but the truth is, is that because of Christ, this isn't about a fixer-upper. This is about a new build. This is something new, completely new. This is something that changes everything about our life. It changes everything. In the message translation, in Colossians 2, 12 through 14, it says, if it's an initiation ritual you're after, you've already been through it by submitting to baptism. Going under the water was the burial of your old life. Coming up out of it was a resurrection. 
God raising you from the dead as he did Christ. Verse 13, when you were stuck in your old sin dead life, you were incapable of responding to God. God brought you alive right along with Christ. Think of it all, or, or think of it. All, sin, all sins forgiven, the slate wiped clean, that old arrest warrant canceled and nailed to the cross of Christ. Some of us are so fearful that our stains are so dark and so real and, and, and that they'll never come out. Never. That they'll never come out. I thank God that I have a wife who knows how to get stains out. Another story really quick. It's like just a week, I know, it's just like a week before Grace is heading down to New Orleans. It's like, yeah, it's like maybe two days. No, it was like two days. Two days before Grace is heading down to New Orleans for a missions trip that she was doing with InterVarsity um, that she put her clothes in, in a dryer at the, at the college. Second dryer. Second dryer. Okay, my bad. Thank you for making sure I got the story right. The second dryer, because the first one was broken. The second dryer had some really, really bright, vibrant lipstick in it. Yes. All right, no, so, so like Grace has been to like school stuff, but never been to like a huge concert. And um, as she was finishing up her senior, or right around her senior year, she went to a concert with some ladies in the church and my wife, and, and she bought this T-shirt at this show. So this T-shirt like meant a lot. It was like something that was important to her. The T-shirt was like a, like a light tannish color, like almost like sand. Um, lighter sand. And as you can imagine, there's lipstick everywhere. No, it, like, it'd be one thing if it just kind of like, you know, blended. No, it was like spot, 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 spot. It was everywhere. And I mean, it wasn't just the shirt. It was jeans. It was everything. Yes, it was everywhere. Everywhere. It wasn't even pretty lipstick. It yeah. Was and so like with our modern technology, we have, um, you know, cell phones that give you the ability to do like FaceTime and stuff. So she's, you know, show, it's like kind of moving fast because she's all upset and the camera's like, woo, woo, woo. Anyway, so like she's showing us and I'm like, that's bad. That's really bad. And, you know, my wife Kelly, she's like, I'm going to come to the rescue. I'm just going to drive down there. I'm going to pick the stuff up and then I'm going to drive up here so that she can go on her trip and not worry about it. So like she gets the stuff home and I'm not joking. I'm talking about like toothbrushes. Going, going, going. Wash it. Wash it again. I don't know. She, she's like a wizard when it comes to cooking and cleaning. All right? There are some people out there that just have this skill set. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of love, a little bit of affection, a little bit of angst and anger because it's not coming out. A little bit of that, just kind of throw it together. And it's like, poof. The lipstick came out. Like, I mean, there were some things that it did not come out of that we weren't so concerned about. But out of that shirt... Like, lift the shirt up, and you're like, wow. Wow. Like, you guys know where I'm going with this. Some of us have been stained by life. We've been stained by our circumstances. We've been stained by what we've experienced. We've been stained by our terrible decisions. And sometimes we're afraid that there is no water good enough, that there is no bleach strong enough that can clean it up. That can take care of it. Or, or, or the thoughts in our mind. It might not even be an outward action. It could be something that's within us. And we just fear that there's no way that we could ever get clean. There's no way that anything can change. Like I'm, I'm evidence. People that are getting baptized today, they're evidence. You in this room are evidence that dirty things can be clean again. That people who are broken, people who have been stained by life, can heal. You see, water baptism is not a ritual. It's a powerful spiritual experience where we boldly say, I was dead, but now I live. Our greatest sins and sorrows have been washed away as new life begins. Sometimes we need a physical experience to feel something spiritual, something real. The water is just, it's city water. It's nothing spectacular, special. Some of you guys that are, you're going to come down, you're like, ooh, they're it's, it's brown. There's stains on the tub, okay? That, that tank's been here for a long time, okay? So it, it stains, I promise. You know, it's not like, you're like, man, this is kind of weird. I hope the water's been purified, okay? I promise, it's okay. Um, <laughs> I promise. 
but it's, it's, you know, the water itself, it's not anything like super spiritual. I didn't put any like holy stuff in it or anything like that. It's just, it's water. But th there's a symbol there. There's something significant there. There's something supernatural that people are going to experience, not because of the physical thing that's there, but because they have made a decision that they are going to, in front of people, say boldly and bravely, I was dead, but now I live. You see, this is an event that already happened. Water baptism is not the event. You don't have to ha be water baptized to be saved or to be entering heaven. That's an event that happens, but baptism is like saying, all right, this is my moment to show the world. This is my moment to say to God. This is my moment to reveal once and for all that old way of life, that old way of doing things, that old behavior. It's not just like, oh, I'm just going to try to get better. I'm going to try to improve. No, no, it's saying it's gone. It's gone. I've said, to you, I've said this to you guys a lot because I, I really feel it and I really believe it. But a lot of people say they made their bed, they can lie, on, lie in it, but Jesus, we've made our bed, but Jesus lies in it for us. That's the beauty of the cross, is all of our damage, all of our sin, all of our brokenness, all of our evil, all the things that have corrupted us, we look at our life and we say, there is no way that I could ever come clean. And Jesus is like, Watch me. Watch me. Watch me make it happen. Watch me face the cross. Watch me die. And then watch me show death who's boss. Watch me prove it once and for all. You guys catching what I'm throwing down? Amen. Amen. I'm going to stop talking because I want to get to dipping and dunking and all of that stuff. <laughs> So I know that some of us in this room might not have clothes, but I just want you to know that I have room for spontaneous baptisms. If you feel like you need to get wet today, all right, in the Bible, all right, they didn't, you know, when, when people got born, again, when they got saved, when something big happened, they just jumped right in the water, okay? I'm not going to promise that it won't be cold on the way home, but, and I'm not going to promise for those who are getting in the tank that it's not going to be cold because it is going to be a little chilly. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. Those of you guys who are participating, go and make sure you're in your clothes. And then you can just kind of stand at the door over here at the exit sign. I'll meet you in just a sec. Can you take that off of there? The rest of us can stand for a little bit more worship as they're preparing. And we can just prepare the ground as this is going to be such an amazing time for all of them. And we can continue to worship the Lord together as they are worshiping the Lord too.
talk nice and loud. I'm not sure about the rest of them. I know that there are some loud ones back there. But, um, oh man, I love this moment. I just so love this moment. All right, first up, come on, get in here. Nice and loud, Judith. Okay. Um, First Peter uh, three twenty one says, "This also prefigures what delivers us now, the water of immersion, which is not the removal of dirt from the body, but one's pledge to keep a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Yeshua the Messiah." Amen. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. All right, Judah bringing some doctor into the house. Right here, right here. All right, it's going to be a memory because when it dries, it's going to look all like rustic. All right, turn this one. All right. Anything else you want to say? Not really. Okay. All right. So, oh, this is so exciting. It's been so. Mm. Like, some of these people that we do this with, some of the people that we are baptizing today, like, I've had the privilege of being with them and experiencing life with them and watching them grow. This is one of those guys. And I'm telling you, like, this is an amazing moment. So you guys out here, you know who this, this guy is. Yeah, you know that, do. yes. Um, and you know this is a big moment for him. So, I want you to, like, cross your arms, plug your nose. There we go. There we go. As a public profession of your faith in front of these people and God himself, and now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. You guys saw that, right? Judah punched me in the face. <laughs> it was worth it, though. All right, come on in. Okay. As I told you, it was cold. Okay. Go ahead and talk. She's like, I have two note cards. Is that okay? So anyway, this is Rain. She is um, a waterman. So yes. definitely not sum up on two cards, let alone one. So, instead, I will read you a Bible verse that God led me to this morning. Matthew 7, 13 through 14. Jesus said, wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few will find it. Hmm. I would also very quickly, like the church to acknowledge those in my life that have led me to this very moment. My dad, father, Ben Waterman, and my mom, my mother, Stephanie Waterman, my brothers, Benji, Sam, Sebastian, Felix, Judah, Micah, my sisters, Ashley, Sarah, and my younger sister, and my best friend, Tia, my teacher, Miss Angeli Rigi, and her family who taught me the importance of my story, and finally, my cousins, the Feglers, who are always there for me, 
and who loved me through f faith and who helped me grow in my family. To them, I am very grateful. Watermans, Regis, Feglers, everyone in this church, I love you very much, all of you, each and every single one of you. <laughs> all right. tears happening right now. I'm not going to say anything. She said it perfectly. That was a, mm. The proclamation of your faith in front of these people and God himself, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good luck and um, <laughs> no. I said that only because you're the one coming, of course. <laughs> it's cold. I'm, I'm oh, this is fine. Okay. You <laughs> 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 made a great entrance. Of course. <laughs> and I'm about to make a great speech. I didn't prepare one. <laughs> You know, there are, there are people that, yep, mm -hmm, sorry, i got to talk. Some of you guys know that. There are people that you experience transformation in, and it's, been, it's, it's just beautiful, it's wonderful, it's, it's amazing. And there are some people that you see, like, you can't define it, you can't explain it. You see transformation. And this man, <laughs> whew, watch out, world. Uh, um, we like watching things and reading things without spoilers, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to not reveal spoilers, okay? But I want you to follow the story, because you're going to be amazed by what God does. All right. Sorry. Making cry again. All right. It's a public profession of your faith in front of God and these people. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son. Holy Spirit. Amen. Some people need to be dipped again. It's not because they need to get a little extra cleaning. Um, no, it's just that God is reassuring them, is awakening them once again to the things that he is doing in their life. Um, it is beautiful, and it has been beautiful. Paul, just him and his family have just joined our church just recently, and it's been awesome to watch as God moves in their life, as God does amazing things. So, you sure you don't need to share anything? Nope? Okay. This way, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. You're a taller guy, so. <laughs> taller guy. Man, I'm mean, a guy too, so be careful. No, it's alright. Don't want to throw your back up. <laughs> there you go. It's a public proclamation of your faith in front of God and these people. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> better that you've been in here for a little while. I'm not as cold. 
Just like our lakes. Yes. <laughs> my man Mark. with people and you just see Jesus in them radiating out of them. Yeah. It's one of those guys. Yeah. It's one of those guys. Some of you guys are saying amen because you have experienced it firsthand. As a public proclamation of your faith in front of God and his people, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a surprise here? We got several surprises here. It's not too bad, is it? No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. this man's up here because, well, I'm, he's a man. This man's up here because he knows that God is doing something new. I mean, that's what we're talking about, right? This is Elijah, just in case you guys were wondering. Durallo. You guys know Elijah Durallo? Yeah. yeah. Some of you guys know, like, really, really know him, all right? Um, yeah, I, I could say some things, but I'm not going to. Anyway, yes. public proclamation of your faith in front of God and his people. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Dripping everywhere. <laughs> All right. I'm holding the line up. No, you're not. I'm going to bless you. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. Ooh. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. So there's, there, there's a few people here, this being one of them, that watch online and contact me a lot and everything. They, they can't necessarily be here in person all the time. So some of you might be like, who is that? So some of you guys remember Linda Way. Who remembers Linda Way? All right, this is her girl. This is her, do her daughter, Kim. And yes. Um, yeah, I don't, did you want to share anything? I did have something, but. I changed my mind on saying that because what I really want to say is I spent much of my life trying to search for a church, and I think I found it. Um, the ones that are new here, you're not going to regret coming here. It's a lovely family. Everyone welcomes you, um, and, and I love my brothers and sisters here. Thank you. And I thank Jesus for calling on me, and I look forward to doing further work for him. 
There's some people in this life that have like serious wrestling matches with life. Things are a struggle, things are difficult, things are challenging. And I've watched miracle after miracle happen with Kevin. We, we walked through some stuff as, as her mother Linda struggled with her health and eventually entered eternity. It was not easy, it was not. This was a very difficult challenge. And some of us, we've had moments of great loss and it's destroyed us. And others of us, we've had moments of great loss and though it's caused pain, it's actually done something beautiful within us. And I can say this morning that Kim is one of those people that God has done something beautiful within through the struggle, through the fight, through the battle. You want to talk about people having fights with life. This woman's been in some serious scraps, mm -hmm. like real intense, serious battles. Mm -hmm. And this right here, being in this tub right here, making this moment her moment, that's, um, that's something. That's glorious. <laughs> that's something. It's cold. I mean, as you can feel, it's cold. Okay. It's a public profession of your faith in front of God and these people. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> So it's really hard to go back. Oh. <laughs> we got a couple of them in here. Oh, we got a couple of steps there. Let's go a step from under that. Okay. And it's slippery. I gotta get Well, if I up. fall, I'll just slide right in. <laughs> <laughs> of my life. My family could tell you they wanted me to talk to my doctor because I'm doing off the wall things. And last week I surrendered many things to the Lord. Last Sunday when the pastor said, you know, there are people out there who've been water baptized and you know, you could do it again. And he was pointing right at me over there behind Stephanie. <laughs> he was. He didn't know it. And, and I'm crying and I'm like, and I said to him after, after they prayed, Kelly and, and Seth prayed for me, I said, you, that whole word last week was to me. Might have been to other people, but it was to me. And I surrendered all, all things last week, ev everything in my life. And so I knew I had to do this. And that's why I wore a pretty top and my jeans. So, <laughs> yeah. So, but... Um, so all that stuff that I was trying to control, it, 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 it's going to be in there. Okay. Amen. 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 And, I, and my makeup's going to be all over my face. That's all right. That's all right. My makeup's all okay. over my face, Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, gosh. It's a public proclamation of your continued faith. Amen. In God. And now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You guys good? Woo! 
Okay, we're gonna stand and sing a song, but I want you guys to make a loud, 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 loud shout in praise and glory to God for what he did this morning. One, two, three, go.